What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So the Abyss of the Goth update basically has all the information out there as far as we can tell. Uh, so we'll be going over some big synergies today for reviving companions that you might want to get a hold of for the Abyss of the Goth update on October 18th. We also get a new couple of tweets from Pablo. I'll be going over one of those today. Uh, and basically to give you a big hint on how powerful companions will be after these changes. Before we get to though, make sure you're sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Also, check out the live stream channel. I'll probably be live later tonight with some more Warframe farming. I'm trying to get some build videos out for the new update. And yeah, got a couple frames I haven't used in a while on there. All right, so the idea of today's video will be going over hard reset and uh, basically how to do Parazon kills very easily to get your companion instantly revived. So if you didn't know this, with the Abyss of the Goth update, we're getting a big companion rework. And one of the mods that's getting like reworked entirely is hard reset. The way the mod works right now, you have to get mercy kills within 40 seconds revolve, revive your fallen companion instantly. It's three mercy kills in 40 seconds right now. After the patch, it will be any mercy kill will be 10 seconds removed from the respawn timer of the pets. And pets are going to be having a respawn timer now uh, with certain mods reducing the respawn timer uh, just from equipping them. Additionally, we also have power drain. Uh, whenever you do a Parazon kill, the next ability you cast will have a guaranteed 50% extra energy. And we also got Blood for Energy, giving us a 50% chance to get an Energy Orb on a Mercy kill. Now, Mercy kills are different than normal finisher kills in this game. If you've played like Anaros, uh, or you use like the Zakti or whatever, those are normal finishers. Parazon finishers are different. And the way you can get a Parazon finisher easily is to use Impact Status Effect. Impact Status Effect will stun enemies, will also make it where certain enemies are able to be Parazon finishered very easily. And as I was stating earlier, if we want to revive our companions, Really quickly, we want to get multiple Parazon kills as fast as possible. To put in perspective how long the respawn timers will be, I've made a makeshift build for after the patch. Now, of course, you can switch some of these mods around if you'd like to. Uh, but the Prime Regen mod will reduce your respawn timer for your companion by 35 seconds. And it's base 60 seconds, so it'll be 25 seconds respawn time of your companion. It will also make them invincible for 6 seconds, too. So we're dealing with a 25-second a respawn timer-ish. Now, from one Parazon kill that goes down to 15, from two Parazon kills, the companion is basically already alive. So, we're trying to get, like, two Parazon kills as quickly as possible. Now, don't forget, also, there will be new Bond mods that you'll put in this slot that will make your companion basically buff you and do some other goofy stuff. Things like, it will clone itself and have extra damage or something. Or it can give you extra crit damage and it will respawn faster if you get headshot kills. So, things of that nature uh, will be in this slot, making it respawn even quicker. And additionally, you could also take off the warrior mod to make it attack things. Maybe put on sacrifice there. If this strategy that I'm using today goes well enough, uh, this could make you basically permanently invincible as long as you can revive your companion fast enough. It will sacrifice itself to revive you, but this will also add 15 seconds of the respawn timer after the patch, uh, making it where like about 40 second respawn timer. So it's it's gonna be a give and a take. So do you want to get this extra revive, but actually have to get more Parazon kills to revive it? We'll have to see when the update comes out. For right now, we're just gonna put on warrior. Uh, and we're also going to have spare parts, as spare parts will be even reworked to make it where the, the companion will scan an enemy and give you extra loot once every 15 seconds. Enough talking about that, let's go ahead and uh, show how this works. Also, I got the Verglas equipped, basically the best Sentinel weapon, and I've got a Vigilante stat stick build on, making it where my, my primary does better crits. You can also just go for a maximum DPS build like this right here. Alright, let's go ahead and show how this works. Uh, I'm just going to show you how Parazon uh, finishers are executed. So basically, not every enemy in the game can be ex can be a Parazon finisher. I didn't even realize this until earlier today. Only certain enemies in this game can be Parazon finisher. And the way you want to do this, you want to get as many impact procs on them as possible. The cap of impact procs is 5. So once they have 5 impact procs, that means they can be Parazon Mercy finisher from 80% health. Uh, but as their level scales up, it will reduce the Mercy kill threshold uh, 1% per 5 levels. I didn't even know about that till today either. So basically, at around level 500, they cannot be Parazon finishered until they're at 10% health. Additionally, if they're, if they're an Eximus, you have to break their Overguard before you do a Parazon. So there's two Parazon kills right there. As you can see, the Mercy kills are very easy with the Impact Cuba Nucor. Other weapons can execute uh, can do Impact procs like this as well, but Cuba Nucor is just the best because it gives you it gives you tons of status procs. It gives you chaining, and additionally, it can also you know mod for lots of different uh, elements. So we've currently got an Impact one right now. 
One of the problems with Cuban Nuclear is an actual very good weapon, so you might have an issue not killing things, or killing things too quickly, basically. So, there we go, and Parazon kills. So, reliable Parazon kills with the Impact Nucor. Now, I did try the Epitaph out for this, too. The Epitaph can get Impact procs, but the problem is you have to actually directly hit them most of the time. So, showing the build on the Nucor, and I, I guess I could technically show the Seven God build, it's not important for this. Uh, we've got a DPS build on the Nucor. Now, you could go more status proc for sure, um, just you know, taking off all the damage mods, basically. So, the way this works, we have an Impact Progenitor for the Kuvin Nucor. Now, the Cyclone would also work, too. I don't have an Impact Cyclone right now, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, for the... Impact Nucor at 59.3% impact, uh, and what it's going to do is basically put impact on the weapon that does not normally have impact. So now we have, with this build, we have Viral Radiation Heat Impact, and we're using the Hemorrhage mod to make it where impact procs become slash procs. Even more procs for condition overload, uh, and with, you know, the impact, the, with the Kuva Nucor's high crit damage, if we can get those slash procs uh, to crit, it will be very nasty for killing high-level enemies. We also got Secondary Encumber, giving us lots and lots of extra procs, just in case we're using our melee to kill stuff. Also, Galvanized Shot does care about how many procs are on the enemy, so this could be very, very nice. Uh, if you don't have an Impact Nucor, you could definitely find something else that works here, uh, but just be aware that I think the Impact Nucor is probably the best for this in the entire game. Uh, so the idea of that is just to get Impact procs on them. Now, we don't have the best Impact waiting, but thankfully we only need five Impact procs. They changed it a while ago. Impact procs pro uh, cap at five now. We have 180% status chance, and we've got, you know... We've got a lot of fire rate and multi-shot, too, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and this thing can also kill enemies, too, which is quite nice. That being said, there's, here's a Sevagoth build that I don't even need to show, really, but here you go. I'm going to be ch uh, changing this a little bit more when the update comes out. All right, so let's go ahead and show some gameplay of how this works. Reminder, this mod is not actually reworked yet, so you're seeing current patch footage. Uh, and you're also seeing me not realizing that Parazon kills do not work on every enemy. So I'm going to give you a list of all the enemies that can be Parazon finishered right now. Okay, so every humanoid-shaped Eximus can be Parazon Finisher, but reminder, you do need to break their Overguard, and if they're at level 500, you will not be able to Parazon Finisher them until they're low health, like very low health. Every Heavy Gunner can be Parazon Finisher, that was not going to require uh, Overguard breaks, this is actually for base versions. Bombards and Bailiffs can also be Parazon Finisher. For the Corpus, Scrambus and Combas, Nullifier Crewmans, and Derivator Crewmen, whatever that is. For the Infested, you got uh, Infested Ancients and Mutilus Moas, also uh, Crawlers. And uh, additionally, for the uh, Grenier, Nox can also be Finisher as well. A couple other ones too, like Amalgams can be Finisher. But yeah, not every enemy in the game can be Finisher, guys. So if you are looking to use this kind of strategy, go get the Hard Reset mod. Consider getting an Impact Nucor. You can technically make it work with other stuff too, but I think the Impact Nucor is actually the, the most convenient as it can kill stuff. It can also, and it doesn't like DPS stuff too quickly where you're going to insta kill a heavy gunner if you want to get a finisher on them. So here's uh, an Eximus right there. Like I said earlier, I, I unfortunately didn't realize you couldn't do Parazon finishers on like trash ads, but yeah, you can't apparently. They have to view it as a heavy unit as far as DE is concerned if you can actually use a Parazon on them. Um, so yeah, I think this will be nice. Now, if you can reliably get two Parazon finishers in a row, I think Sacrifice might be kind of viable. Uh, it's going to be a, so it's going to give plus 15 seconds of the respawn timer, but remember, Prime Regen gives you minus 35 seconds, and then for, for dogs and cats, I think it's Medi Pet Kit will give you, like, reduce, like, 15 or something. So, you know, it, it's not going to be as fast as a respawn for pets and dogs, or cats and dogs, but we don't even have the full picture here yet. We don't have the, um, we don't have the new, uh, they said there's 14 new respawn mods, we only know about four of them. So, another reason this will be very nice in the Command Reaver, look at this tweet from Pablo. Pablo was confirming that Vacuum and Animal Instinct will work while the Companion is incapacitated. So, that means that you will basically have, like, this update is near permanent uh, Vacuum. So, as long as you have the Fetch mod or the Vacuum mod on your Companion, even when they are incapacitated state, they will be active. So, that is, as long as you have a Companion equipped, that will be basically Universal Vacuum. Uh, it eats up a mod slot on your Companion, of course, not really a completely free thing, but yeah, that is a really big step in that direction of having Universal Vacuum at all times, so that is a good thing that I don't think, I think that should, honestly should have been the dev stream, that's some pretty big news, but yeah guys, um, I hope you found this video fun and helpful, uh, if you have any ideas for weapons that can do 10 imp or 5 impact procs really quickly and is better than the impact nucor for this, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, um, like I said, I tried the Epitaph out, if you hit direct hits with the Epitaph it can work, uh, but the AoE of the Epitaph was like hardly doing any impact procs at all. So I want to make sure I have something with viral and impact on here, just in case I'm not trying to only go for Parazon kills. So this worked out great. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you on stream tonight. And yeah, weekly reset tomorrow, guys. Take it easy. Peace.